oh, they're saying, look at that guy. Oh, how spiritual. Oh, he's a spiritual giant. Oh, he's spiritually ripped, right? <laughs> he's legit because I've heard him pray. And oh, 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 oh his, his prayers are mighty. You might say, he's a prayer warrior. We, we got this, right? We got, we got this term, to prayer warrior. See, we got, we got regular Christians and then we got strong Christians, and then we got prayer warriors. Isn't that interesting? Now, we happen to know who the prayer warriors are. I thought you were supposed to pray in secret. But we start building an identity around prayer, and our identity is in Christ. And we're not strong. We're strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. A strong Christian is not a super rigid Christian with lots of rule keeping. That's actually a weak Christian. Amen. Do you know that? The weaker brother has many rules and the stronger brother is free. So the freedom is actually a sign of maturity. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. Not stifled spirituality where you're stiff as a board and strict and everybody's scared of you and nobody wants to talk to you because you're going to, you know, give them an accountability sermon or something. That's not the spirit of God. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. 